All right, here we are late afternoon, Medford, Oregon. Handle a couple cars out of a collection here, two or three cars, and we wanted to share this one with you. It's starting to rain on me just a little bit, so you might see a raindrop on the car, or maybe hit the lens, but we're going to cover it for you here. Really nice little 1932 Ford two-door sedan. Nicely done, very traditional style resto rod, done old school style. This gentleman's owned this car about 25 years. He had it, bought it when it was just fairly fresh. It's actually starting to rain right now, so again, don't mind the rain spots on it. We're going to do the best we can as we cruise around here. He doesn't have a heart attack with the window open, but uh, finished in a burgundy. When I say old school style, I'm talking suspension wise, that kind of thing. And again, the exterior of the car is not over modified, it's not chopped, it's not filled. It has a buggy spring suspension front and rear with a Mustang steering box, drop tube axle in the front, 350 Chevy underneath the hood with a turbo 350 automatic transmission. This particular gentleman drove it this summer over 5,000 miles and went to Victoria Deuce Days. I hope it doesn't rain too bad here, but uh, you can go to the still photos at Spud's Garage and take a look at them. We're going to cover a lot. So owned that long, it's got 22,000 or so on the odometer. He wouldn't hesitate to get in this car and drive it anywhere. Really, it's that kind of car. Uh, it's an all Henry steel body and components. Again, not filled or chopped. It does have fiberglass fenders, front and rear, steel running boards. It has uh, chrome spoke, true spoke wheels with V8 deluxe trim on it. We can walk around and when, it's got good character. In other words, 25 years, 25 to 30 years old paint job on it. So it's gonna have its flaws as we go around, that type of thing, cow vents right there. But you can find little flaws or a little lift here and there, or a little spot on the bottom of the door there. I mean, I'm not gonna point out every little thing from a very short distance of what you're looking at it right now. This car looks absolutely spectacular. It's not gonna win best paint, but it's a whistle straight body and a professional paint job that's aged wisely over the years. Um, again, he's driven it. He drives it, has multiple cars, so he wants to get it out of the garage and stretch its legs, and it's been the car, the car, one of the cars they've drove, driven a lot this year. Luggage rack on the tail, it does have a small trailer hitch, so if you want to pull a little fiberglass trailer or something like that, there's not a lot of room in the back of these two doors for storage. Again, we could pick it for a little flaw here and there, but we're not going to pick it apart like crazy because it's just a good looking car. If you want one that rides right, steers right, and uh, one that's reliable, this would be a great car to do it. There's a little bit of a lift touch up right here in the back. It could be touched up again. You could probably have a good painter go around and fix a few little things on it. Guy that can blend good, it's just a solid burgundy. Again, Bumpers, Jenny style tail lights, that type of type of thing with blue uh, blue dots on them. Step back and let you take a look here. Kind of give you a feel. It's just got a good old hot rod feel to it. So retro rod, resto rod. Hang around to the undercarriage video, solid car, body wise, uh, again, reproduction, front and rear, glass fenders. A little bit of a belt line here that you really can't see too much of. And you can see it's got some raindrops on it right now, but uh, the finish is nice on it. Some chipping around the wheels where they'd been painted here, but I call that character and that's uh, a good thing because these cars need to be driven. Sometimes we get a little too stuffy of them, but you pull up to a hot rod show with this, people are going to know this is a, just a nice old school car. Cow lamps on the front. Uh, him and his wife take all kinds of road runs. There's a uh, uh, you know road trips. There's a little bit of a touch up here. I think I saw a little bit of a minor lift at the belt line one spot, but you know overall, I guess I'm being. Uh, it's hard to find a car like this. Interior wise, it's just super sweet. We'll get around to the driver's side here and hop in and share more with you here. Old uh, cloth interior, nice carpet, just custom fitted. It was done by uh, Chris Christensen Interiors. Door mat pockets, you know, wood grain finish on all the door garnish moldings. Wood grain finish on the dash. Has air conditioning, has tilt wheel. And if you haven't driven one of these early ones with the uh, 
mid 60s 67 68 ford mustang steering gearbox in it that's set up to the fact factory cross steer they really steer nice they're uh very uh very easy driving cars so to speak but door jam to door jam somebody spent a lot of money on this time in the restoration at one time you'll see let me show you here you'll see all the brads into the wood the body's nice the structure's nice door shuts nice both doors shut nice I'll show you over in the driver's side a little bit of a like I said a little bit of a lift spot and a little touch up there that needs to be done but again if you want to drive them you want to enjoy them come up front nice uh, glass lenses in the front light discoloration big headlamps we kind of do things in the middle of the street sometimes luckily it didn't start pouring rain on me I thought it was gonna we get around to the driver's side here I kind of did a little backwards the way around here for you got to going driver's side you'll see the map pocket just like we talked about on the other side both these seats recline I'm gonna show you when we get in there um, there's a lot of room if you're a tall guy. I'm, you know, I'm 6'1", and uh, man, I could go to sleep in this car. Back seat here. They really don't take any passengers or kids with them, that kind of thing. Has a uh, wood grain banjo style steering wheel. Nice under dash gauges here. We'll fire it up here for you to take a look at it. Wood grain on the dash is nice. It's just got a nice feeling. I'm gonna sit back in this thing. I'm a tall dude, and I don't think I have the seat back all the way. But it's really nice, right about my eye level. I'll probably take you for a little spin if it's not raining. Speaker, little audio system above here, Kenwood Audio. See if I can focus in on that a little bit. Deuce mirror. Control panel right here. Little clock over there. 22744 on the odometer. All the vintage air controls are down here. I like the gauge petrol. Classic instrument gauges. Hang on to the end of the video. I'm going to cover the undercarriage and all that kind of stuff for you. Have a little video of it running. We'll do a little pull up here. Get out and let you hear it run. Great, smooth running 350. It's getting out of the way of the car there. Anyway, about time we tell you to get in, hang on to the end of the video. Go to spudsgarage.com. Thanks for listening to me. All right, we'll get you underneath the hood here. Chevy 350 V8, great running car. Nice little horsepower underneath the hood. Old school style. Turbo 350 automatic transmission, Ford 9 inch rear differential. Uh, it has a weigh-in accelerator intake manifold, aluminum intake manifold with an Edelbrock or uh, Carter AFB style carburetor on it. GM style distributor, I believe it has Petronics in it. These are uh, Sanderson Ramhorn style exhaust manifolds. Those are great exhaust manifolds. You don't have to worry about header gaskets or that kind of thing. Coolant recovery bottle right here. Um, cooling components, electric cooling fan, no overheat issues. He drives the wheels off this little car. GM alternator down there low. That is a Mustang steering box, which is old school. It's kind of cool the way they mount those. Very popular addition back in the day with a drop tube axle and buggy spring. Holly. Uh, air filter housing, 4 inch k &N style filter that's serviceable. Corvette style valve covers on it. Really nice mini high torque starter. Body color firewall. It has R134A air conditioning and a heater on it. You'll see the caps on it. it tells you it's 134A, the red and blue there. Anyway, we think you get the idea. Go to spudsgarage.com. Make sure you hang on to the end of the video. Thanks for listening to me.
Right, we thought we'd do a little clip with it running so you could hear it run. Still a little cold. I couldn't resist taking it for a drive even with a couple raindrops. Coming to Oregon, you gotta expect that. Easy to steer. I'm one-handed steering this car. Fun. Drive this one. Have a great day. Go to spudsgarage.com. Alright, we'll get you to the undercarriage here. Getting near the end of the video. We appreciate you listening. Old school style build again, like we mentioned about the walk around. This is about a 30 year old build, and the owners owned it 25 years. Factory style chassis that's uh, been reinforced as needed. It has a drop tube axle with chrome gas shocks, buggy spring, multi leaf. Get up front here and, or behind the forward wheels here to kind of give you a feel. Traditional four bar front suspension. Of course, the jet's flying over right about now. The uh, steering box, which is definitely old school, and a lot of guys did it, and it really makes it a lot easier to steer. That's a Ford Mustang steering gearbox in it. 60s, I believe, is the arrow that those uh, boxes they used. The exhaust runs all the way to the back, dual exhaust. Turbo 350, automatic transmission, disc brakes up front. Again, you can drive this car. This is a nice car. Ford nine inch rear differential, again the same thing in the back, old school style. We'll get to the back and I'll show you a little bit more. It has uh, buggy spring in the rear, so the ride on this car, and it makes you understand why a guy would want to drive a car like this, is that it rides nice. These buggy springs front and rear, done old school, are really nice. So it's got a multi-leaf buggy spring in the rear, ladder, ladder bar style. Four, four bar suspension, so to speak, but it's a ladder bar. Gas shocks, drum brakes in the rear, Ford nine inch rear differential right there. If you want to pull a little trailer hitch, you could. There's not a lot of storage room in these cars or a small trailer, glass trailer like a Mullins or something maybe, an old Mullins. Fuel tanks body color. It has a uh, True spoke wheels on it, which are kind of nice. They're finished body color. A little bit of chipping around the edges of the car. P23570 R15s in the rear. I'll give you a feel there. Traditional cross steer front suspension, like we talked about, with a Mustang uh, box. All right, you're getting the idea. Go to spudsgarage.com where we'll have plenty more for you. Have a great day. All right, he's taking it back to his garage. Could be going to your garage. Make sure you go to Spud's Garage. Thanks for listening to me.